Hey, my friends, it's Scott with Klaus Team TV. And yes, I'm dressed a little bit different than normal. And that's because I'm here at the Superstition Station with Mesa Police Department. And I'm meeting with Gabby Duran, who is uh, the uh, volunteer coordinator with Mesa Police Department. And I'm dressed like this because I'm a volunteer with Mesa Police Department. I've been doing it for about 15 years. And Gabby, what do volunteers do for Mesa Police Department? Well, Scott, we have lots of different opportunities for volunteers to come out and help Mesa PD and all of our different departments. Uh, we have everything from forensics, uh, toxicology, substance control. We also have our patrol support unit, which is incredible. You guys get to drive around in the PD vehicles. I get to drive an actual police car. <laughs> yep, the sirens, the lights, all the fun stuff. Uh, but you're also helping out. Um, and making our communities and our neighborhoods safer. Um, so we do appreciate you for that. So thank you for, for helping us in that. And now then, you mentioned forensics, so yes. we're talking CSI, actual CSI. Correct, yep. And there's a program that uh, volunteers can participate in. And so once you meet all those requirements and qualifications, you're right there, you're with the officers, you're with the crime scene team, um, and you're down in the dirty and you know, the whole shebang. Now I've worked with them out in the field and it's really, really cool. The volunteers actually have their own crime scene van. They're taking calls on their own. Now they're not taking person's crimes. They're taking uh, property crimes. So right. they're not, you're not gonna go out there and do a murder <laughs> scene on, on your own, but you are gonna be taking fingerprints and uh, investigating a theft or something like that, which is Correct. pretty yeah. cool. And you go drive out on your own. You've got the whole thing by yourself. Yep, it's a very cool um, program that we do offer and it gives an opportunity for volunteers to get a different sense of what Mesa PD does, how well we do it, and then have that background for themselves. Uh, you have a pawn <laughs> unit. We do, yep, for any pawn shops, correct. Um, and so we actually have one of our skill bridge in participants there right now and he is getting any hits left and right making sure that if something is stolen, it pops up and then it gets, you know, returned to its rightful owner. What other units do you have? We have our DUI unit, which always <laughs> it's always fun, right? And St. Patty's Day is just right around the corner. So we're gonna have some units out there for DUI and without the help of the volunteers, you know, it could be a, a more tedious um, task to handle. Um, now they're not only working the actual scene, they're driving the bus. Yes, yes. <laughs> they get, and, to, and they get they, to drive the DUI van. Yeah, and that's a pretty big bus too. So it's definitely um, fun to see and interesting to be around as well. And what other things do we have? We have everything from office assistance as well, because as you know, you know, the paperwork that goes behind every call, the reporting, you also need that um, clerical responsibility and assistance as well. We have um, our peer support for our health and our mental wellness for officers, That's for civilians, yeah. exactly. Um, and then we have everything fun like community relations, which is also the department that I work with. And so that's putting on all the fun events that we do, the Pollard Run, um, you know, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, putting on the pink patch. And so volunteers are needed for every department. Um, and the list goes on. Mesa is a large organization and volunteers can be helped in any any department um, and our volunteers Scott they are you guys are also eligible to do ride-alongs for any of our four divisions um, so that's an opportunity to for you to see what an officer does day in and day out um, sometimes you get some really exciting uh, calls and sometimes you get some not so exciting but still you get to be a part of that yeah, it's always fun always fun now there it's a little bit different than volunteering a lot of places because there's background checks. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. And it can be lengthy. We are about a month out from when you begin your um, background process. And so we just ask the volunteers to be honest, to be thorough. Um, and if you want to work for Mesa PD, then just, just apply. It's a, it's a great organization and you're, you're part of a, a large group. So how do people find out more? So you can always visit our webpage. We do have three separate websites. But if you go under our community relations uh, division, then you'll be able to sort through whichever you like, because we have our volunteers, we have our interns, which are primarily our college students. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a very special program, which is our skill bridge, active military members. 95% um, of the time they come into the workforce and they uh, join our academy. What if I want to learn more about the police department? 
It's a great question, Scott. Uh, we do have our CPA, which is our Citizen Police Academy. It's an eight week program. You get to tour different departments. You get to ask questions. Our assistant chiefs, our chiefs are present. Do I get to play with things? You sure do. Like we what? Get, uh, well, for, for starters, you get to go into our virtual room, which is our uh, gun stimulator room. So you get to play with that. You also get to go onto the vehicles and do the uh, road course and see how our officers are trained to maneuver and to make sure that they are safe and keeping the community safe while on a big uh, police chase. So that's pretty cool. So last question, how much money in the last quarter alone did volunteers save the city of Mesa? A whopping $86,000 in their volunteer time. So not only are you having a good time driving the DUI van, uh, doing <laughs> CSI, scenes. driving driving cold, police cars. Cold cases over at Homicide. Yeah. Uh, you're actually saving money and uh, keeping your taxes low. <laughs> so uh, if you're interested, uh, just reach out to uh, the city of Mesa. Thank you for uh, Thank saving you, your time. And uh, if you want to hear more about cool stuff like this, make sure you uh, uh, subscribe, like our channel and uh, check back with us for more really cool stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Kenny Klaus with Klaus Team Real Estate Solutions. We know there's a lot of confusion in today's market, whether it's billboards, TV, radio, you know, mail, everyone's trying to get your attention. They offer one lane, where at the Klaus Team, we have over 20 different programs. We can help you navigate through to find out what's best for you. And remember, we work for you, they work for themselves. We're here to represent you and make sure you have the best experience possible. Visit us at klausteam.com slash call us first.